I'm Madison Wade. Here is a look at what's happening today. A woman is dead and two men are hurt after a shooting overnight in Sacramento. This happened on Crandall Avenue near Hagenwood Elementary off Marysville. Police were called to the home around 11 last night. They're saying the two men are stable right now. Homicide detectives and CSI are now working this case, trying to figure out why this happened. Based on what they found so far, they say it was an isolated incident and there is no threat to the community. They're asking anyone with information to call Sacramento Police. And West Sacramento Police have announced that there are charges against three 16-year-olds in the death of a 16-year-old girl Saturday night near the Clarksburg Branch Trail Line in West Sacramento. This shooting happened near the River City High School. Those two boys faced charges of conspiracy, robbery, and homicide. The girl is facing an accessory charge. And SACRT is offering passengers round-trip service to the airport. They started these rides on their new Airport Express service route to Sacramento International Airport on Sunday from multiple stops around downtown Sacramento. They are going to offer those trips for free until the end of the month. Yolo Bus is off also offering free rides to and from the airport to celebrate the new SACRT route. Once those fares kick in, rides will be $2.50. Now to check your weather, here is meteorologist Monica Woods. A uh, cold start to the morning for sure on this Monday, headed back to work and school for many folks after a long break and temperatures were only in the 30s up and down the valley. Fog wasn't too much of an issue because of a light breeze that kicked up late last night, early this morning, kind of scoured everything out, but there were some patches out there. Afternoon highs hitting the 50s to almost 60, close to where we were yesterday, 40s up top for this year and not much snow up there for the past couple of days. But as you can see here, what's going to happen for tonight, a bit of patchy fog forming once again, especially through the northern San Joaquin Valley, but we've got a new system on the move. It is going to bring us a return to showers very late in the day on Tuesday, almost overnight Tuesday into early Wednesday. Snow will be falling for this year and a pretty decent snow level at about four to 5,000 feet. And then we'll turn our attention to a couple more systems just off the coast here. So we keep it kind of on and off in the forecast for rain showers and snow chances here. Tomorrow is a dry day with patchy morning fog, otherwise mostly sunny. Chance of those very early morning showers Wednesday and another chance for showers on Thursday. Friday, we're dry, but another chance of showers hours on Saturday and that's really how things are playing out here. Highs in general staying in the 50s. Now you're all caught up on what's happening today. Heavy rains and snow are finally on their way. Stay up to date with the latest in severe weather as well as breaking news and traffic with the ABC 10 app. Available now in the App Store or Google Play. ABC 10, wherever you are.